The undead have risen. A legion of zombies have emerged, drawn to the home of their creation. You can run, but you can't hide. Evil has spawned from the heart of this house. You must face your fears. Prepare for gloomy wood. Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shavonks, the one bot built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News room update where today we're going to be going back into Alton Towers areas, looking at the future of the rising attractions in there and seeing what can be done about the area. Now today, as you saw by the intro and the title of the video, we're going to be going into Gloomy Wood and we're going to be taking a look at Jewel, the Haunted Hollow, any of the food outlets and shop outlets and also a little bit of woodland for a little bit of coaster. Uh, so before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in as well as your video suggestions and your shout outs. Make sure you get your questions in, use the hashtag question before or after your question. And this is for when we celebrate, when we hit 2,000 subscribers uh, for our next Q&A session, when that will be released when we hit the milestone. So, uh, you know, we're getting there. We're way past 1,600. We're on the way to 1,700 now. Uh, so that's very cool. And for now, guys, let's get into another video. So, before we take a look at the attractions currently, we have to take a look at the past of this area. Now, this area first opened in, 19, in the 1990s decade. Pretty much. Uh, so specifically, Gloomy Wood opened in 1992 on the path between Katanga Canyon and Forbidden Valley, then known as Thunder Valley. For many, many years, there was only one attraction in the woodland area, the Haunted House, which closed in 2002 to make way for Jewel, the Haunted House Strikes Back in 2003. Gloomy Wood is a very unspoilt area of the park, which much room for expansion. And indeed, in, 20, in 2007, the area became no, home to one of to one end of the Haunted Hollow, its second attraction. Now, obviously, Gloomy Wood, like it said there on Towers Times, big shout out for the information from their website. Um, like it said there, it's an unspoiled area. It's There's meant much room for expansion. And I think that Alton Towers will do that. I think that Alton Towers are going to be uh, a part that expands with this area. Uh, so, Gloomy Wood then. Now, before I talk about the future of Rising Attractions, I want to share my thoughts on Gloomy Woods. So, Jewel, I've said it in the past, it's an okay dark ride. It's okay. I think I would have liked the original Haunted House if I ever got the chance to experience it. Uh, but, in terms of Jewel, I think because, you know, they have made improvements to it. They have, like, refurbished it a little bit and changed it up. And obviously, a couple of years ago, brought in the, the new soundtrack and the new queue line. And made it all look spruce and looked up and all that malarkey. But, I still think that Jewel may not have a long-term future at the park. I think that with Gangster Grand of the Ride coming in, I think that... They may in choose to invest in the dungeon attraction and do a different dark ride thing to World of David Williams, maybe. Um, you know, and things like that. So, I think that maybe uh, the dual time may be coming to an end, uh, personally, in my opinion. But, like we said, we're going to talk about all the attractions in this area. So, let's start off, speaking of dual, with dual. So... Jewel, the Haunted House Strikes Back, the shooting dart ride. So, looking then at Jewel, looking at Jewel, uh, the attraction, and looking at how um, the attraction feels and how the attraction looks, uh, I think they can do something even better in that building. I think they can do something even better. And I think they can do something very, very unique here. Now, whether that be... Um, some kind of new dart ride system or whether it be a brand new shooting dart ride uh, and change the guns up and complete and completely revamp it and create like a whole new haunted theme with it I think that could be the best way forward in my opinion so Jules quite an easy one for me I think they should bring in a brand new haunted story you know keep the queue line uh, revamp it a bit to mess uh, to mix with the new theme 
Uh, no IPs. Don't even dare put an IP in there, like a Lego Haunted House or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think that Jewel should need a massive, massive overhaul, and I think that should be the next attraction to, uh, you know... I think, even though the Towers Loving Care program was only meant to last for three years, I think they should, you know, indefinitely reopen that up. So they have a Towers Loving Care program throughout the entire park history in my opinion so obviously i know the tales of in care program was used as a way to you know after the aftermath of the smiler incident and refurbish the park and bring it into a new era you know i get that that's why the tales of in care program was brought in to refurbish old rides to make it all look new uh and to bring the guests back after the smiler incident i think they should re indefinitely infinitively reopen the tales of in care program and jewel should be one of the first to get you know, investments. Because you've got to look at other attractions as well. Subterra, that's being used for Scarefest. I think they can put another Scarefest made somewhere else. Uh, and, you know, reopen Subterra as an attraction. Obviously, obviously the stuff with Wobble World, that's been transformed into the world of David Williams. Ice Age 4D, that's now, you know, gone. The theatre's there, but nothing's in it. So I think they should put something in there. The Driving School, even though that's like a little mini area on its own now, I think they should bring something in with that. So the Towers of Care program should be an, an, an indefinitely, infinitively opened care program. And I think it should be every single season that they do some work. So uh, it keeps the park looking nice every single year then, not just for a three year gap. So, you know, I think that they should do that and I think that Jules should be one of the first rides to get it. Now then, the Haunted Hollow, I think the, the only thing they can do to refurbish that is if they bring in some kind of new theming items, maybe refurbish old items, uh, just to give it a brand new lease of life. Again, something new I want to see done to a TLC, uh, something new refurbished, things like that. Uh, so there's not really much to say on Haunted Hollow, however, the next thing is this big open plot of land. And this, in my opinion, should be the location of a potential future new coaster. Now, obviously, we know the story about these booster bike coaster plans that were in the works uh, for Gloomy Wood. You know, themed to broomsticks, I think it was. Um, and, you know, I spoke about that. I spoke about that in a very, very old video on the channel. I said that, I, I asked the question, I popped the question to you guys. Do you think they should be getting... Uh, this, uh, do you think they should revisit these plans? Now, I think they could, however, maybe not as a Vacoma booster bike. Maybe they could do it via the ATV style uh, family launch coasters and do like these uh, trucks that have been magically brought to life and you sent whizzing through the wood. Uh, so I think that you've got Jewel, you've got the Haunted Hollow, but I think you should have this uh, family launch coaster. Uh, to be brought into the resort as well. So I think there's a real potential for that. I think that whether it will happen or not is beyond me. Uh, however, I think there's a real potential to uh, to do that. So it should be a very interesting watch. But there we go, guys. So that, my friends, is um, basically what, what, what could happen to Gloomy Woods, in my opinion. I think Jewel will get refurbished. I think Haunted Hollow will have some new theming items to it. Uh, I think that uh, we'll possibly get a new coaster, maybe. Um, I think that a new coaster would be great at the park. Uh, I think that in terms of the food items, I think Nitro Genie could get some new gloomy wood theming around it. Uh, and I think that, you know, some of the, the shop outside Jewel maybe get some uh, new theming items and maybe, maybe, maybe look it up and maybe refurbish it a little bit uh, to make it look all spooky and that so um, Yeah, it should be very very interesting, but I think if the dungeon is here to stay I think that maybe Jewel may not be the the horror family ticket anymore So maybe Jewel gets replaced by some kind of new ride system So I think because they've got the massive building. I think it's potential. I think there's real potential to uh, Refurbish that whole building and to refurbish that attraction. So I think that Jewel will get refurbished before a new coaster comes into Gloomy Ward, definitely. Uh, but I think at the same time, maybe give the shops and restaurants a bit of an overhaul, and also Haunted Hollow, get some new theming in there to make Gloomy Ward look spoilt rather than unspoilt. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. This is a very interesting video, isn't it? Uh, obviously, they'll be back with more uh, in the future with these Alton Towers areas. Obviously, we're still yet to do Dark Forest, see Bibi's Land. 
uh, Adventureland where Spinball is. Uh, so I'll be speaking all about them in future videos. Uh, Thorpe Park areas, Chessington areas. Uh, we've got videos to come from that in the next few weeks and a couple of months as well. So stay tuned for more on that. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.